Urban League of Greater Atlanta is celebrating 102 years serving the metro community and tomorrow there's a huge event taking place to commemorate that and this morning we're joined in studio with, uh, by Nancy Flake Johnson who is the president and CEO of the Urban League of Greater Atlanta. Great to have you with us this morning. Thank you for having so me. So we're so excited about this 102 years which people go well why is there a big commemoration for 102 <laughs> years instead of the 100 years? There's a reason for that. Absolutely. It's called the pandemic. Absolutely. <laughs> right. <laughs> so tell us about tomorrow. Tomorrow we are having, for the first time, you know, normally we have our annual fundraiser is a dinner and dancing and entertainment and honors. Uh, but we wanted to do something different and special for this occasion. We did have to postpone it right. for two years. And so we're going to be at the Atlanta Symphony Hall. Uh, we will start with a reception, move into the hall for a program where we'll update people on the work of the Urban League mm -hmm. and they'll hear from some of the people we serve and we'll recognize those who partner with us and are making impacts in areas that align with our work. And then we're going to have a special concert by Anthony Hamilton. Grammy award winning Anthony Grammy Hamilton, award may award say. winning, yes, right. you, yes. So, you know, it's interesting, we were watching the ludicrous giving the shoes and all of those kinds of things. That's absolutely wonderful to see someone giving back to their community. Yes. Some people may not know what the Urban League does. Can sure. you talk about that a little bit? It is absolutely. really about service to the community, just like what Luda's doing. Exactly, every single day. Mm -hmm. So Urban League is a civil rights organization, but we focus on the economic empowerment of individuals and families and small businesses. Okay. And you know, just recently, Atlanta, once again, according to the census, is the worst place in the nation for income inequality and economic mobility. If, if you don't have enough income coming into the household, right. everything falls apart. So we operate as a financial empowerment center. We kicked that off coincidentally in 2020. Couldn't have been a better time when so many families got knocked off their sure. square. And so what it does is first we meet people where they are, we make sure they're stable. Emergency rental assistance, utilities, keep them safe and stable and housed. Secondly, economic mobility, upskilling for better jobs, livable wage jobs, supporting small businesses. We teach people how to manage money, build wealth, and prepare for home ownership and civic engagement. So here's the deal. Do they come looking for you? Do you find them? How do, how do you connect? <laughs> Trust me, uh, during uh, COVID for uh -huh. sure, we were a magnet for people. We, my phone number was actually given out by the Fulton mm -hmm. County Court directly. Okay. And you know, it was, it was scary at first, but I think it was in divine order. God wanted me to be directly connected to hear what people were going through. You're the hands and, the, you're the hands and feet, Directly, right? Right. And, and, and I'm telling you, there's some devastating conditions for there families are. still. So we're here to be uh, an emergency relief center mm -hmm. and an economic responder, and that's what we're here to do. So the ticket, a portion of those ticket sales, go into a very special place. Can you talk about that? Yes, we have a community uh, emergency relief fund, mm -hmm. and this is where when people call, we have the resources to respond. Just this week, a nine-month pregnant mom, single mom, due tomorrow, oh. was about to be evicted. And we were able to come up with $3,200, mm -hmm. work with her landlord, get them to allow her to stay. And so we're going to work with her and get her back on her feet and help her get back to work very quickly after her baby is born that is and fabulous. on to a career. More people like her that you can help down the road. Uh, Absolutely. Are tickets still available? Can people get tickets? Tickets are still available okay. on Ticketmaster. Uh, we don't have very many left, I'm okay. happy to say. But uh, feel free to visit our website. Go there and support us. We'd really appreciate Thank it. Thank you for the good work you're doing. Thank you and for so having me. And so excited you finally get to do this in person. Right? Absolutely. That's, That's exciting. Fine. We're going to post this interview online at atlantanewsfirst.com along with a link to buy those tickets. So good stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Rob, back to you.